Hi friends, this is Mr. Jason from the Middletown Free Library in Delaware County here with another origami tutorial. Hope everyone's doing well in quarantine. Um, I'd like to show you how to make uh, an inflatable rocket. Um, so if you're uh, really big into outer space and travel and stuff like that, this is a fun one um, and it's very similar to the origami um, water bomb. So if you ever made like the little blow up balloon, um, it's very similar to that. So uh, what you're gonna need is a square piece of paper um, if you don't have any origami paper, um, I can show you, and I'm actually going to fold it using copier paper. So if you have a regular piece of paper, you're going to turn it horizontally, take a top corner and fold it down so that your edges line up and it comes to a point down there. And then we're going to cut off that rectangular piece right there. And when you do that, like that you're left with this triangle, which is actually a square, all right? So to uh, make the water bomb base, we're gonna have our paper folded in half diagonally like that. And we're gonna take our paper and we're gonna fold it in half again to make a smaller triangle, all right? Unfold that last fold, take this top part here, this point, and fold that down to the bottom of your triangle there flip it over and do the same to this flap down. So we have one flap in the front and one flap in the back. All right, now we're gonna turn our model sideways so that we can open this up and we're gonna do a squash fold. So you're gonna open that up and squash it flat just like that to give us this like tent triangle shape. So we have two flaps on each side. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, the flaps and we're gonna fold one at a time up to the top like this. All right, so we'll fold the two in the front up top like that. Unfold it and now fold those same flaps going down so that they come to a point up at the top like that. One and two. All right, very good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna unfold that a little bit and we're gonna refold our two folds together from the top and the bottom like that. And we want this part here, the edges, to line up and fold that kind of like in half so that it comes to a point. All right, just like that. And we're gonna fold that downwards like that. All right, so we're gonna do the same to this side. So unfold it a little bit refold it along those two folds, all right? Have your edges line up so that it comes to a point like that and fold that down just like that. All right, we're gonna take our whole model and flip it over to the back side. Do the same to this side. Take your uh, points, fold them to the top, one and two. Unfold and fold them to the bottom, just like that. One and two. All right, unfold it a little bit and fold those folds together and bring those edges together like that. So it comes to a point, we're gonna fold it down just like that. All right. The crisper and more even your folds, the crisper your uh, rocket ship legs are going to be. All right, do the same to this side here with this flap. Fold those together. Line up your edges. And let them come to a point right there like that and fold it down. All right, so now we have like um, the legs down here and the point of the um, ship up top. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the edges here and we're going to fold them along that center line so they come to a very sharp point or as much of a point as possible on the bottom. One, two, and the same on the back. Flip it over. Three and four. All right, your paper is going to be a little bit thicker here because you got a lot of layers to it. All right, so make sure you give it some good creases. All right, now we're going to fold the four legs 
or prongs out, all right, along the edge of that triangle there. So you're gonna fold one out like that, same with this one across from it, two, flip it over to the other side and do the same to this side here. Fold this one out like that, and that one out like that. All right, so the bottom of the rocket is where there's like a hole, just like the Japanese water bomb or balloon, uh, and that's where we're gonna blow up a rocket, all right, and inflate it. So to make it a little bit easier, what I like to do is I like to take these um, sides here and fold them over. So now we're on this side here and fold it back so we have like a little crisscross shape to it. All right, now you're gonna go ahead and blow into that hole and maybe lightly pull um, the corners of your rocket apart. And then what I like to do sometimes is give a little push or pinch down to where we inflated it. So it sort of gives it more of a little shape. All right, and you can see here, maybe your legs are a little lopsided, so you can bend those so that maybe it stands up a little bit straighter. All right, there you go. There's another uh, cool little origami rocket. So if you use the white paper, you can, uh, when it's flat, you can color it and decorate it however you'd like. Or if you wanna try and color it while it's inflated, it might be a little bit trickier. Uh, I've had some friends in the past take paper that's colored like um, either smoke or fire and stick it in that hole so it's sticking out and it looks like maybe fire or smoke coming out like it's actually flying. All right. There we go. Very cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. Take care. Remember to wash your hands and uh, miss you all and hope you're doing well. Bye.